Hi, Gemini. I was thinking about Taurus for a minute. Some of y'all could be connected to a Taurus, but what's up? What's good with y'all? Welcome and welcome back to the channel, gang. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and tuning in. So this reading is timeless. If you were drawn to this reading, there's some messages here for you, okay? Um, whenever you're meant to see it is when you're meant to see it. So take it how it resonates with you and lead the rest. Let's get into these messages here and see what the universe wants you guys to know for April 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Cross Watchers, you're also welcome to join. All right. There's a wolf in sheep's clothing in your energy. A groupie. Okay. Somebody that hangs around groupies. So they have a lot of groupies in their energy. All right. This person's ego got in the way. I feel like, yeah, their ego is hurt. Their butt hurt. But their ego got in the way of this connection. This person is a spiritual hater as well. I feel like they hate on your spirituality, your light, your magic, your power, and your gifts. Okay, because you're so powerful, so magical. Yeah, this person is an obsessive lover. They're dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive. This is a karmic. You're dodging bullets. You dodge a bullet dealing with this person. You're blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected by haters, it says. Love triangle. This person had you in some sort of third party situation. They have multiple lovers and they have to make some sort of choices here. Yeah, they have bad habits. Somebody could be doing drugs, have addictions, toxicity. Somebody could be shooting dope, sniffing coke or whatever the case may be. You're moving on. Okay, it says thank you next. So I feel like you're learning your lessons here. You're moving on to bigger and better things. And they're trying to look you up. Maybe spy on your social media here. Researching you. Studying you. Um, getting info. Because they want to, you know, make you some sort of an offer here, Gemini. But this person is a time waster. Okay. They have made no changes here. They have not changed. This person is stuck. Some of y'all may have an old um, watch. Like an old antique watch that looks like this. For some of you, not all of you, okay? I feel like, yeah, you've been giving this person money or reverse the roles. Somebody's been helping somebody out. But this is somebody who was trying to force you to give them some money or force you to help them out. They force things on you. They're trying to force their way back into your life. They use force to get what they want. This is somebody here that uses force out of fear, okay? And I feel like... This person wanted you in your head, overthinking, stressed out, and overanalyzing. This person is a happiness hater. So whenever they see people in love or people kissing in public, you know what I'm saying? They get very angry. They hate. This person ain't sugar, honey, iced tea. All right? They ain't shit. I feel like this person knows how to draw. You know how to draw. Or somebody may be getting a tattoo here. Yeah, they a cock blocker. So I feel like they cock block people's happiness. They're a happiness hater. When people are happy, they cock block. They ain't shit. Okay. They could be cock blocking you because you're moving. You're moving out or this person um, is moving out. But I feel like somebody here is moving. All right. They may have stolen something from you in the midst of them moving. They may be trying to rob you. Yeah, they're going to get bad karma for this. If you're moving, I feel like this person is a thief. This person is somebody here that robs people, could be emotionally or physically, okay? They make people suffer some sort of losses. Yeah, they may have stolen something from someone, could be someone's car. <clears throat> but you're uninterested in this thief, okay? You're uninterested in this thief. And this thief is going to come back trying to kiss your ass, trying to give you flowers, trying to get back on your good side here. Okay, fake smiling in your face, but you're unbothered by this person's offer, by their fake smile. Some of y'all could be going on a cruise, a road trip. Some of y'all could be traveling, and yeah, they're setting up fake accounts, okay? Fake social media accounts to spy on you. This could be like Instagram, Facebook, Tinder, Twitter. I, I didn't mean to say Tinder, okay? Did some of y'all meet this person on Tinder? All right, I didn't mean to say that, but there's obviously a reason why I said that. Twitter, Snapchat, whatever social media platform you have, this person is making fake accounts to spy on you, to stalk you, to keep tabs on you. All right, let's see what other messages come in for you guys. Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Gemini. Okay, yeah, confusion. 
somebody causes confusion in this connection, you feel unclear about where you stand with them, they feel the same way, all right? There's unfinished business here. There's a lot of things to be resolved or discussed here between the two of y'all. I feel like someone wants to tell you the truth. Something's going to be revealed here. Somebody may be Catholic, so they could be going to a church to confess, all right? Detachment. I feel like you had to let this go to clear your mind here, or this could be this truth that they are holding on to. They want to detach from this because it's eating them alive. They had to let this truth go in order to clear their mind, so I feel like they need to reveal something to you. They need to tell you something, okay? You're practicing more on your self-love, self-care. You're still trying to heal. This person neglected you. They failed to give you what you needed, and they feel guilty about that. They feel the pain from the damage that they have caused. Yeah, they sabotage this connection, and I feel like they sabotage good things in their life sometimes. They mess up. I feel like they held back from this connection. They should have expressed themselves better to you. They cause damage in this connection, and I feel like both of you are hurting behind this situation, but you're starting a new chapter, okay? You're trying to move on. Yeah, you felt unappreciated by this person. You felt like this person didn't care. Yep. Your person sees this as a missed opportunity, so they didn't act when they should have, and they feel like they're going to miss an opportunity with you. They do want to call you, but I feel like they didn't. They want to hear your voice. I feel like your absence is making this person grow fond of you. They feel like something is missing without you. They feel unworthy of your love. They feel like you're a better person than they are. They know they ain't shit, piece of shit, effed up ass person. And I feel like, yeah, they have some sort of third party situation going on here. There were other things that got in the way of y'all being together, but they couldn't replace you. You're irreplaceable. The way you love them can never be matched. They want a reunion with you. It says we will always come back to each other because they feel as though y'all have a soul contract. So they feel like y'all will always come back to one another. But you feel like the lessons you learned from this will never be forgotten. Okay. And I feel like you didn't reach out to them. And they feel like it's too late to take action. They may be feeling like they ran out of time. But they do want to um, have some sort of reunion with you. Alright. Sorry about the noise, you guys. Let's get into the tarot. And see what tarot has to say. Let's see what your spirit guides, angels, ancestors want you to know. For April 2024. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Gemini, Gemini, Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Gemini, Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Gemini. What messages do you have for Gemini? Yep, you're moving away. You're being guided away from this person. Six of Swords. So you're moving on to a place of peace and calm and waters. You're winning. This is your winning season. I feel like you're a public figure or you're in the, in the public eye. You could be in the spotlight. You may have a platform here. You're getting a lot of likes, shares, comments, subscribes, or followers here. Okay. But something is coming to your attention. You're getting some news or something. Yeah. Somebody's bitter because you're, you're getting a lot of attention. You're moving on. You're moving forward. You're winning. You're happy. And somebody is bitter as hell about that. Okay. Yeah, somebody's bitter, bitter that it's over, that you closed out a cycle with them. And you could be taking them to court. Could be a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Taurus, or a Leo. You could be divorcing this person or putting this person on child support or suing them. But I feel like you're getting justice here. Yeah. Yeah, there's some sort of judgment in a legal court case. There's a final judgment call being made here. And I feel like somebody got to make a big payout. This could be like out alimony, child support, spousal support. Yeah, something like that. There's a brand new beginning coming in for you. You could be getting a new opportunity. You could be getting a lot of money here from some sort of lawsuit or, or divorce settlement or some sort of legal issue going on here. The King of Swords is in the reverse. Somebody's big mad because they're under judgment. And I feel like you dropped their ass. Yeah, I feel like somebody is a liar. They're deceptive. They're manipulative here. 
and you drop them. Yeah, I feel like this person is insecure with the Empress in the reverse. They're not tapped into their feminine energy. I feel like they're not nurturing. They're not loving. They're not caring. They're not giving. Somebody here may have had like a lot of abortions or miscarriages here or um somebody here is just like wanting this unwanted attention somebody's loud obnoxious the page of cups in the reverse this could be a cancer pisces or scorpio somebody younger than you is like immature and childish this could be an ex-wife or ex-husband who's very immature and childish there's a lack of communication or none at all between you and this person i feel like you don't have good memories about this person i feel like the memories between the two of you from the past is negative all right this person here wants to take action towards you but you block them because this person is a player somebody here who's in and out of your life fickle with their energy they don't know what they want they're here for a good time not a long time and i feel like they're torn between two they can't make a decision between two knight of pentacles in the reverse somebody here was playing the field with you not taking you seriously in this connection here i feel like they was rejecting your love offers when you was trying to offer this person love in the past here all right they were sleeping with whoever they wanted to sleep with doing what they wanted to do with other people yeah i do see communication all right so this person could be sending you like long paragraphs of messages if they can they could be contacting you from some sort of app or fake account this could be a dm okay but i feel like this person is crying they're sad they're feeling some sort of way they're feeling regretful and remorseful here because you're no longer interested in talking to this person you're no longer interested in this person you're not feeling this energy okay you're holding back and holding off and not opening up and they are regretful remorseful we're crying over, crying over spilled milk they're sad because you walked away they're mourning the loss of this connection because you're going towards your happiness you're not in a cups you're leaving all the emotions the plans the love everything behind all right this person may have tried to walk away from you and they thought the grass was greener on the other side here yeah but i feel like you know it's not it's not and i feel like they feel some sort of way because you're walking away you're confident you're stepping in your power here you're wearing your crown you're on your throne you're looking sexy you're looking beautiful they may have walked away to somebody else that they was attracted to so they're all about looks and attraction they're a visual character they're very materialistic i feel like you could be the baby mother or this could be your baby mother who feels fully invested and they don't want to give this up yeah, you could be a single mom or a single dad here. This person wants to rush in towards you with some sort of news or a message here. And I feel like there's some edge cutting words here that may cause a heated discussion or some sort of argument here. Yeah, this person is a con artist. They're manipulative. I feel like this person is emotionally unavailable. And I do feel like, um, yeah, they had some sort of third party situation going on here. They were celebrating. They thought they was going to be happy in some sort of third party situation, but they're coming out of hiding. They're coming out of hermit mode and I feel like they're returning to you, but y'all going to have a heated discussion or some sort of argument or fight. Or there's going to be some sort of drama here, okay? But I feel like you're putting yourself back out there on the dating scene. Some of y'all could be going out more. You're getting out of hermit mode. And then you got a lot of haters here. You got a lot of haters here, okay? With the five of wands here, yeah. What's this? Death in reverse. They don't want this relationship to be over. I feel like they are going to fight for this connection. However, they are resisting change. This person haven't changed. Yeah, they do feel like you're home to them, all right? With the four of wands here, this person does see you as their twin i feel like y'all talked about getting married or engaged or living together or y'all was married or engaged or living together you may have been happy with this person you may have thought that this person was your twin but this person just somebody that stresses you out causes baggage burdens right here i feel like this person is not loyal with the pit with the king of pentacles in reverse they're a cheater heavy manipulative okay i feel like this person is someone that gaslights you someone that tries to sweep things under the rug if you mention their shit to them or out them they try to like um flip the story on you to try to make you defend yourself yeah yeah third party situation heartbreak that's the truth i feel like this person um with the magician in reverse and the three of swords this person enjoys hurting other people hurt people hurt people so i feel like they enjoy hurting people i feel like they've been trying to do some spell work on you or trying to send you some negative energy to like hurt you okay that's the truth but i feel like this person here is someone that is no good for you they're manipulative i feel like they're condescending i feel like this person here is somebody who <sighs> just tries to cover up what they did 
you know, both of you are holding your emotions back from one another because I feel like there's some heartbreak here. There's a separation going on here and you're going to get clarity. I feel like you've been very clear about what you wanted. You're sure what you want. You're not confused. This person is somebody that you left out in the cold or you told this person to get out. You may have put them out or somebody did, but I feel like you're going to find out that this person's going through poverty. They're broke or they could be um, ending up homeless here. Okay. This person here is somebody who may have bad health all right they may have some sort of mental health issues with the empress in the reverse or whoever they was connected to um a karmic their baby mother baby daddy ex-wife ex-husband has mental health issues you know i feel like this person could be crazy for some of you you know what i'm saying so their health may not be doing too good uh their money's not doing too good I feel like they, if they're not homeless, they just feel like they're facing bad luck. They're confused. Yeah, this person here is someone who finds you attractive, but they they toxic as hell. They low vibrational. They do have mental health issues. They do. Be very careful around this person. Be very careful because I feel like they're talking to other people even though they are feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, and neglected. They feel like, for some of you, that you could be talking to other people and that's why you're holding back, holding off, and not letting them in. It doesn't have to be true, but they feel like you talking to different people and that's why you're not letting them in. They feel like you're being stingy. They feel like you're being greedy with your finances or it's this person here who causes confusion, illusion in you guys' connection. Um, This person here is someone who is greedy they're stingy and they hold back and hold off they haven't been opening up but this person is somebody here who's fantasizing and daydreaming about you and they don't want to let you go even though they're stingy and they have their options open and they holding back and holding off and not letting you in they don't want to let you go at the same time so it's like make it make sense <laughs> Make it make sense, but you know, this person I feel like they just want some sort of supply with the uh, magician in the reverse. This person is a narcissist, they are a narcissist, and I feel like they, they need some sort of supply here. Let's get a few more messages for you guys and see what the universe wants you guys to know. Cycles, so this, these cycles here, um, this pattern represents the solar eclipse that's happening tomorrow. So, a lot of changes is going to be happening. I feel like fate is at, is at work in this person's life. Okay, these cycles are determining this person's fate. It says karma, something ending or something new beginning here. Okay. I feel like in the near future, you could be committing to someone. Things are getting pretty serious. So if you're getting into a new relationship in the near future, I do see marriage with the earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You could have pets here or you could be um, getting a new pet. If you have a current pet, the universe wants you to give your current pet more love. Okay, You're dealing with a true gold digger. Whoever you was connected to... Whoever you was connected to and they was putting you through these same cycles here, they were gold digger. They wanted your money. They were using you, okay? Yeah, you're manifesting, though. You feel like you can't manifest anything with this person, but you're manifesting. You're telling the universe exactly what you want. And I do feel like spirit wants you to be patient. Whatever you're telling the universe that you want, it says just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. I'm telling y'all this person is a narcissist person's a narcissist they're too full of themselves listen to your intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you in your ass later someone is keeping tabs on you they got their eye on you or you're doing some research on this person yeah spirit is saying move on don't even waste your time doing no research on this person move on Maybe you did some spinal investigative work already and found out some shit. But move on. Someone is unavailable and a waste of your damn time anyway. So it's not making any sense for you to do no research on this person. Maybe you need more clarity. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you need some closure. All right, Gemini. Yeah, you're going on a bay, bay vacation or you will be traveling soon. There's a guardian watching over you. Okay, there's a loved one, a lost loved one watching over you. Somebody who passed away. Somebody is confused about their sexuality. Somebody's still trying to figure themselves out. So they don't know if they like women or men. This person could be bisexual. This is somebody you divorced or somebody that you're experiencing a breakup with. Yeah, they'll be back. Whoever this fire sign is, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. It could be any sign. 
All right. But someone is in the middle trying to sabotage this. So if you are in a new relationship, when this person comes back, they're going to try to sabotage your new relationship. Okay. And if you're not in a new relationship, by the time this person comes back, I feel like they have a third party situation going on here. So take it how it resonates. But either way, leave this person alone. Move on from this person. This person is no good for you. They're toxic, low vibe. They have a messed up mindset. They have a um, scarcity mindset. They have commitment phobia. Um, this person here is somebody that has third party situations. They don't take you seriously. They play the field with you. They feel like the grass is always greener on the other side. It's just like this person is truly no good. They're no good. They're no good for nobody. This person needs to heal somewhere. They really do. They need to reach out to their spirit guides and beg for mercy and beg for help and ask their spirit guides to help them come out of this energy because I feel like it's not getting any better. It's getting worse. Okay. As the years go by, narcissists don't get no better. Narcissists get worse. The lies get worse. Everything gets worse. The relationship gets worse. Every time you take them back, it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. So move on. Don't waste your time. If you already done research on them and you found out all you needed to find out, don't waste any more time doing any more research. Move on. If you feel like you need to do more research, move on. You already know what you need to know about this person. Move on. Don't waste any more time overworking yourself. Because your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, your guardians have something very special lined up for you. All right, they have something very special coming in for you as long as you be patient. All right, so that's all you need to know for now. All right, spirit doesn't want you to know too much about this brand new beginning, but I feel like it is coming in for you and you guys are going to be happy. You're going to be celebrating. That's what I feel like is going to happen in the near future, but just be patient. Okay, tell the universe what you want. Send it out to the universe and then let it go. Act like you never even said anything about it. Because if you keep thinking about it, you're going to be like, oh my God, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. And the universe is not going to let it happen like that if you rush them. Okay. It's going to happen within divine timing. So just be patient and you will see. You will see why this had to happen. It's all going to make sense in the end. All right. And you're going to be happy if you're not happy now. You're going to be happy that this happened. All right. Because I feel like a lot of you are happy with the outcome. So the outcome is really good for you. Sorry for the shakes. But some of y'all need to be patient. Don't rush anything. Go with the flow. Just be patient. Good things are going to come to you in the next few months. All right. So just be patient, you guys. I love you guys so, so much. If this is your story, if it resonates with you, if you like the content, if you want to see me do more readings for you guys, um, if you stay all the way till the end and make sure you guys like this video up, share, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on to ALL so you won't miss any future readings that I post for you guys and you will be notified when I post. Okay. Now I reply to everybody's comments. So don't be afraid to leave your feedback because I will respond to you. All right. Just be patient. I'll reply to everybody. Okay. I love you guys so, so much. And if this is happening to a family member or a friend around you who's going through this, share this video with them. Share this video on all your social media platforms. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for taking the time to watch you did not have to be here with me but i appreciate the ones who are here with me and i appreciate connecting to every single last one of you across the world i really do appreciate that and i love you guys so so much until next time bye gemini and i'll see y'all in the next reading <music>